Mercedes Sade. My name is Ramon, and this is a, a video a present for you because I think you have done a great job in this portrait, and I want to share with you some tips about uh, portraits painting. My English is not uh, very good, but I will try to explain just on how to achieve uh, a better look uh, because usually a uh, lot of people when, when painting portraits they do the same thing in the flesh tones the, the flesh, tone, flesh tones are not uh, just pink the flesh tones are just pink, green, blue and lot of more uh, little details uh, of different colors I think this is one of the most common mistake but we can fix this uh, in a very easy way if we know how to do that this is your art and I don't want to be a very critic person so this is with all my best wishes. Um, to get the, the decided feeling on the flesh tones, I have painted this easy thing. Okay, so you can see how uh, there are a lot of uh, pink, orange, and blue, um, or blue. Uh, this is, is weird and if I take this you can see the difference okay I am going to just make zoom a little and you can see the difference because this little layer is applying the soft light mode and that's great because applying just like glazing color and you can see the the technical stuff about the soft light layer but you can see the different okay so this is plain pretty good but plain in the flesh tones and we can achieve more realistic more impressive just as pose a piece of art and I think you have a great talent you have great skills and hope this will help you you just only have to paint just like this and apply it as a soft light and just for example we are going to make more uh, purple or pink this this song we need to apply pink from here and just with the airbrush airbrush we're going just to apply and the pinks appear a good way to achieve uh, different tones the soft light is a great help for you uh, <laughs> obviously uh, green is not pretty well done here but you get the idea so hope this will help you um, thanks for watching thanks for using GPS um, I hope to see the next piece from you as soon as possible because I love this portrait and I want you to post on my blog and also as I said new document that I am preparing. So, bye and take care.